Hi everybody, um, hope you're all doing well, um, hope uh, you're all the guys, uh, everybody's staying nice and safe, uh, wish best health to everybody and whatnot, um, and today we're going to be looking at the uh, NECA Godzilla 2014, first release. Now, um, as with the uh, majority of my stuff, I got this guy when he first was released. Um, yeah, and uh, I try to, when I can, I do try to keep my stuff as best condition as possible. Uh, however, you can see there's a, a, I don't know if you guys see it, there is some, I gotta get in there with an electric toothbrush or something. It has gathered dust. Um, but uh, that's nothing that can't be easily remedied. Uh, for example, um, if you can take a good look at the teeth, uh, I had to color on it, color some of them in little by little. And uh, with my particular medical condition, uh, it, yeah. Anyway, as you can see, I did my best, and I mean, uh, it's not like I mean, it, it, it's the same issue as with the Japanese imports. So I, it's just the design of the of the character that they're going off on. And, you know, for an American company to get as detailed as this and the quality, because this guy is, uh, he's, a, he's pretty heavy. Um, you know, it's awesome. Uh, not to mention, you can't beat the price point. Like, you could easily find him online for $30, as opposed to his uh, Japanese import uh, version which would be a hundred dollars and up so yeah um and the funny thing is this guy's a lot more durable to be just quite honest uh the dorsal plates here they're made of this uh, rubber berry material so you know you can't break them you can't bend them out of shape unless you use a blow dryer or something but see a lot more durable and uh, the joints are still pretty stiff and you know never mess with it too much you could push the articulation a bit but I really don't want to ruin it um yeah, um, I can't recommend this company enough, uh, NECA, um, as a better alternative to, um, towards some import figures or characters such as Godzilla or the Terminator or whatever. Um, hell, they do everything, even Robocop. Uh, but, you know, for someone like me, it's pretty hard to find because I'm not you know, out there in the, in the Targets and, or Walmarts, you know, I, I can't be going in there in the aisles and due to my, you know, uh, back issues, you know, I can't be hunting around for toys. Uh, my body's just too beat up. Uh, so trying to get my hands on one of these is, uh, it's not easy, but when I do, I try to take care of it. Let's see, uh, better look at the teeth. Again, I painted in as much as I could without ruining the figure. Yep. Oh, and, uh, yeah, 
the leg is articulated, but I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is all the motion you're going to get. Pretty much like a swivel. You feel and that's it. Uh, there are segments in the tail. And the tail, I think from this part forward, I think, is, um, is bendy wire. Um, however, I just don't want to ruin it. So I just never really mess with it, uh, to be quite completely honest. Um, but yeah, that's what I love about NECA. It's, uh, uh, they make better, um, uh, alternatives to whatever brand has gone up in price and towards all the other fancy gimmicky ones. Um, um, yeah, it's a good product. What can I say? Um, uh, not that I'm still knocking the Japanese version, but with everything going on today, um, uh, it's a blessing just even, uh, have this type of hobby, to be quite honest. So, let's see. Here's this, uh, Here's the counter cup. Here's the counter part. Don't know if you guys can get a good view. Uh -huh. We could do. Yep, we could do this deal. Yeah, see, with the Japanese version, there's a lot more detail and uh, and articulation, especially in the tail. However, um, I'm just being honest, people. This figure is for adult collectibles, so it's got tiny ball pack uh, ball pack joints that could easily break. The spines could easily break on you. Um, it's a good quality figure, however, you know, it's a quite bit delicate, and you will always have that QC issue of this tail not staying in place. The only reason it stays in place on mine is because I have to modify it. But, yeah, I mean, Uh, I mean, what's really worth, what's really worth more? You know, I'm just saying, you don't have to go for the expensive stuff all the time. Sometimes, you know what, uh, sometimes the cheapest option is the best option. Put it that way. Hopefully, let's see, let's switch them this way. Here we go. Yeah, let's see, feet. As I mentioned before in one of my other videos, uh, in the feet, um, uh, the NECA guts, uh, is more accurate, because they're supposed to be, like, elephant feet, uh, this guy's feet are a bit more splayed out, um, yeah, but, yeah, um, I mean, if, um, uh, For my money, uh, I should have just, I should have just gone with this guy right off bat instead of getting him first, uh, to be honest, so, and, uh, but, you know, with the market, with the being the way it is, you could easily find either for cheap, but if you're going to get one and you're in a budget, this is the one to go for, 
because uh, some of the rights do come up, and next thing you know, uh, they're not making them no more. And you know what happens? Third-party market prices go up and whatnot. Anyway, uh, this is just a quick uh, review, comparison type of deal. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't, please let me know. If you did, also please let me know. Um, and yeah, that, that's uh, that's it. Um, thank you, everybody.